Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be going over all three gear raids on stage 18 with only epic teams. This is mainly just to see that it's possible and to show you some ideas that you can have if you don't have a bunch of legendary heroes to rely on. It's just a bit of fun really, it's a little challenge for me and it's kind of a, a fun little challenge to see what you can do with only epic heroes. So I built a few extra heroes over the last week or two just so I can try this out and to mess about with some more characters. So let's start with gear raid 1. Stage 18, Power of Dominance will be off for this, and let's have a look what I can use. So for this one, Gear Raid 1, as you know, is purely an AoE raid, you need lots of area damage. Greed is probably my best AoE mage, I believe, that's of epic tier, and I think I'll take Maul as well. Maul is just generally a fantastic hero. I shall take Wrath, because he does some AoE damage, but he'll also boost my Greed, which I think probably works. Dolores is just incredible. She has some great buffs. You know, the attack boost, you can time it when you want, so sync it up with ultimates, and it's just crazy good. Then we have Laurel as well, purely because she has a nice passive to boost damage, so I'll boost attack and I'll boost damage, so that's good. And let's see, beyond that, I could do with a healer, so I'll take Lightlock. I'll take Mary, so I have some slows. She provides some good debuffs as well. Let's see, I've got a couple more slots left. I don't really have anyone else that I think is going to do a lot, at least out of the ones that I have built. Maybe I'll just take Dalin as she helps me get my heroes out faster. Or for a laugh, you know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll take Cyclone just for, just for the, the giggles. Let's see, let's see what he does, you know? Really what I'm expecting is just going to be a few heroes doing all of the work. So Cyclone is just there for a, a, a giggle. And we'll put Greed up front here. I'll put my Dolores here. All right, yeah, I should be putting down my Dalin early so I can get my cost points up. Nice slow proc coming out there. And let's get my Maul down first. And so that's going pretty well so far. Then let's throw down some slows. Let's get down a real healer. Let's get this booster down. We'll have Wrath down. Now let's ult with Dolores. Ult with Maul. Big damage coming out. Let's pick up Dalin and put down the real hero here, <laughs> Cyclone. I've not used him yet. I built him for a laugh, but I've not actually tried him. Will he do anything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was kind of what I was expecting. I'm determined to find some usefulness for him. It won't be here, but it will be fun. All right, so Dolores is back up. Let's ult with more. Let me just get these closer. There we go. And then let's boost a bit with Laurel. I'll save Mary's ult until this wave gets closer just to help me out a bit. But it's going okay. The, the boss is nearly dead. Which is probably the main use of having Wrath there, to be honest, is just to kill that boss a bit sooner. And let's ult with Mary just to keep these guys off the wall. Buy me some time. And then we can just push them back. See? Meta strategies right there. So Dolores ult. And Maul can ult now. <laughs> just absolutely crushed it. The entire wave. So, more things, right? And... You know what? I kind of... I kind of... I want to say Cyclone is valuable here. Pushing people off the wall. If he pushed people off in AoE, it might genuinely be legit. Because you could use it in the higher gear raid. Like, it feels stupid to say this, but it feels like it could actually be useful. In, like, gear raid 1, 19, 20, 21... You keep knocking people away and then Mary's freezing them and slowing them, that might actually be useful. But I think you have to do it in area. You can't just do one at a time. Uh, I'm going to play with that. Let's see. I, I I think it's possible. Anyway, back on topic. That's Gear Raid 1, stage 18 complete with a purely epic team. Maul doing a huge amount of work as expected and Greed doing a great deal as well. Everyone else kind of didn't do a great deal of damage. I think Raphs is worth acknowledging. I think he was a big help to kill the boss quickly. The boss is the biggest threat. Uh, and of course the healing was largely light lock but Dolores I think the main reason that you had all this damage coming up from Maul and a good amount from Greed was primarily from Dolores' attack boost and the damage boost from Laurel I think is definitely not to be sniffed at it's, it's actually quite a nice amount especially when you have people like Maul who are really heavy on their ultimate so definitely a lot of value coming from Maul there I think and definitely a lot of value from Dolores and Laurel okay so gear raid 2 stage 18 power of dominance off and an epic only team. So give this a go. 
Okay, so we will start with Oleg down first as he is very reliable. We will have Vortex healing him as Vortex, my Vortex has my highest single target healing. And I will have Raph down to help deal with this side safely and quickly. See, the Oleg shield's done a huge amount of work. And I need to make sure that I don't have any trouble staying alive here. So it's a good thing that Vortex went down first. It means his ultimate will be up, hopefully in time. And there we go. That should be enough to help me through. And that's not too bad. I'm going to put Shark King down here, which might not be the play. Let's see how this goes. I don't have high hopes. Let's shift to a defensive stance. This is physical damage after all, so he is quite ideal for this. We'll put down Mariel at the front just so I can block. And let's ult. There we go. That's pretty good going. Now this is the bad part where everything falls apart. Oh, there goes all of my healers. And my DPS. So this is not looking ideal right now. I'm going to have to use Iron just so I can block this to absorb some health off of this side, make my life a bit easier. Let's throw up some heals. Come on, Brienne. Brienne making that work. And now it's just the boss, so so long as Olag survives, which he should, this will be okay. I have Vortex up still. There we go. And I think we have a win, finally. I had to try this a few attempts. I won't waste your time with those. But this seems to work fairly well. I say well, this works just about. It's actually a lot trickier than I expected. I think my previous run, I didn't turn off the power of dominance. So certainly a lot harder. But we finally did it. This 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 seems to work. And a huge amount of damage coming out from the boss now. So hurry up, Raph. You're the guy who needs to be dealing with this. Great. Cool. There we go. Gear Raid 2, 18 with Epic Only Heroes. Certainly sketchier than I would have expected. But... As you saw, I was using a whole bunch of 5-star heroes here, so quite a bit underpowered for it. I had 5-star Mariel, I had 5-star Olag, 5-star Vortex, 5-star Midan, 5-star <laughs> Livian. So yeah, only 6-stars were Raph, Maul, Lightlock, and Brienne. Quite underpowered, really. So this is mostly a 5-star epic team. I wouldn't quite say it is entirely, because look at the damage that's coming out from the free 6-star DPS. And even Lightlock doing a notable amount. As for the healing output, pretty much light lock show. I think that was largely because he was 6-star, he was surviving a lot easier. But yeah, I think pretty good run, considering most of them are 5-star, at least half of the team is 5-star. So, quite happy with that. That's uh, Gear Raid 218. And finally we have Gear Raid 3. So, for this one, once again, turn the power of dominance off. And let's see what team I shall pick for this one. Okay, so you can see I have Iron for the epic Lord bonus for the Watcher Faction. This is mainly just for the 10% stat increase. For my Marksman, I have Brienne, Tario, and Tazira. Personally, I'm a bit underwhelmed by Tazira, but it's hey, it works. She's six-starred. It's really Brienne that's going to do a lot of work, and Tario is quite useful as well. Additionally, I have Maul. He is absolutely insanely useful for this. Probably the best hero I have out of this lineup. I have Imani as well to help me deal damage through the middle lane, to help kill the boss sooner, which is usually one of the main issues. And for my healers, I have Lightlock, Vortex, and Dolores. And I've also picked up Mary just in case I can get her down. She does apply slows, freezes, which do help buy me some time, and some really good debuffs. So let's see how this goes. So first up, I'm going to be placing Maul down the middle. And I'm going to drop down Mary so that I can boost Maul and get his ult doing a lot of damage against the boss. Killing the boss sooner helps a lot, especially if you don't have heroes to help you do that quickly. So I, I rely on Maul and Imani down the middle to try to deal with the boss fastest. That's their entire purpose in this plan. I have Tazira covering the cross. Maul's ultimate will deal with the left side and the right side is now my main concern. So I need to ult here. Let's do this. And that's good. And Brienne can face up this way. And now I need to get some healing out to make sure things don't get too spicy. So that's pretty smoothly handled there. And let's go with Tario on this side. And let's get some more ults out just so I can get some more damage on the boss really. It's not really for the ads, it's just to kill the boss a little bit sooner. That's my goal here. So the enemies are most likely to make it through on the right side. But I think Mary will help slow things down a bit which will be very nice. So... Let's do that. And we'll ult with this one, and we'll ult with this one. Okay, that's not too bad. I didn't really want to use Tazira's ult, 
Brienne is going to need a lot of help on the right side, so hopefully this works out. And let's get this ult going. We have to slow it down and get Maul's ult to wipe out this side on the left. But let's see. No, I'm going to have to do it. Probably should have done it sooner to, to keep the uptime up as much as possible, but work with what we've got, shall we? So it's going okay, but this is really the phase where things get quite tricky, I think. Thankfully, Maul's ult is back again because he is just such a champ. So this will handle this. I can ult here. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to freeze this because I don't think I'm going to kill it in time. Oh, I would have killed it in time. Okay, I'm underestimating my team. To zero is doing reasonable then. And you see the boss is really quite wounded, getting beaten down by Maul and Imani. So it's going pretty well. And I nearly have Tario's ult up, so I'll pop that now. I have Maul's ult up. The middle boss, Zilla 2, goes down. I'm doing pretty good now. And let's get Imani's ultimate up. The left side, I'm not worried about. The right side, I should ult now. Come on, Brienne. Beautifully done. Maul does not care. He will just annihilate those guys. Zero can ult. And yeah, first try. Not bad. I have done this before, so I know the rough strats. This is very dependent on Maul and Imani killing the Zilla 2 boss in the middle very quickly. If she, otherwise, it's quite hard to deal with her. If you have massive damage output such as a such as a Lunaria, then it's a lot easier. You can kill the boss in the middle with Lunaria, keep your Maul on the side and keep someone else on the side like Brienne, and then it'll be really easy to deal with them. Fiowin is, of course, another great hero to use for that kind of strategy. And as you can see from the damage, my Maul was doing massive, massive damage. Very powerful there. Brienne was doing great damage as well, killing the Az. But Imani was doing a pretty good job at hurting the boss. And Tario, to be honest, did a pretty good job. Not the highest damage, of course, but she's only 5-star. Everyone else here is 6-starred. So, yeah, I think all of these are pretty vital in, in, in my run, my lineup. I definitely think Imani helped a lot getting rid of the boss soonest, but there you go. That is my strategy for clearing all three gear raids using only epic heroes. You can see gear raid 2 is a bit more of a struggle for me. I think that was mostly because I was using a lot of 5-star defenders and healers, the two that you really need to be 6-star. I pulled Elowin early, so I didn't bother 6-starring <laughs> many other healers. And I six-started Captain Reeve very early, so I did not bother six-starring any epic defenders. So definitely six-star those if you need to to progress. If you don't have legendaries, it's nothing hard to do it in Gear Raid 2. It's not, it's not a problem if you need to do it for Gear Raid 2. But yeah, that's my strategy. I will leave the video here. Just a quick little video to show you some epic hero strats and to show it's possible and maybe give you some extra ideas. And I'll exit for now, but I'll quickly pan over the epic heroes I used in this video in case you're curious about their gear. So thank you very much, guys. Take care and bye-bye.